Hi everyone, it's Polly here from Beaten Jeans. And I arrived home last night at around midnight from Hawaii. My family and I just took a fabulous trip that was much needed. However, I've come home to a kitchen that is barren. The only thing in the refrigerator happens to be condiments. And so this morning before I even had a chance to unpack my bags, I headed off to Costco and Trader Joe's and a little bit of Whole Foods in there. I usually don't do these Costco hauls. It's usually Taylor. She's really good at budgeting and only buying the things that she needs. Um, I do have some plans with some of these goodies that I will share with you, but uh, being that this is a ginormous haul, this should last my family a good couple months. I will have probably have to go back to the grocery store for milk and eggs and vegetables and fruits and those sort of things. But for the most part, all of these ingredients should last us a good couple months. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I got today, stay tuned. I don't know if I mentioned this in my intro, you guys, but I spent $600 today. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit nauseated about that, but hopefully after I show you guys everything that I purchased, I'll feel a little bit better because it's a lot. It's a lot, you guys. All right, so first up is this Thai coconut milk. It is organic, and I use this in a lot of my soups or Indian dishes. I like to keep my pantry stocked full of canned goods, and this is one of my main staples. I happen to be out, so I did buy two boxes of these. Also from Costco, um, I bought some pasta noodles. I happen to be out of my stock of pasta, so I picked up one of these. These are great. It's like a medley of noodles. There's penne and like the spindly kind, and I don't know. It's just great. It's a great value. I think it was ten dollars for this bundle which is a great deal for organic pasta i also got a package of asparagus we eat a vegetable just about every single night and my family loves asparagus we usually just eat it with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper and then bake it sometimes we put it on the grill my husband likes to use like a mayonnaise lemon dip with his asparagus but um, we'll definitely be eating this sometime this week Brussels sprouts are great, just serve steamed or baked. You can even throw them in the air fryer. And recently I've been cutting them up or shaving them up and using them as a salad base. In fact, I have one in my new cookbook, the beet power salad that uses Brussels sprouts and $4.99 at Costco for organic Brussels sprouts. You can't beat that. Organic hemp hearts, it is the best deal at Costco. $14.99 for one bag, and this will last me about a month. I use a quarter of a cup of the hemp hearts in my protein smoothie every morning. It gives me an additional 12 to 13 grams of protein and about 200 calories uh, added to my protein smoothie. I got two bags just so that I would have one on hand for next month. I also got from Costco some organic string cheese. These are 80 calories per stick and seven grams of protein, and there's nothing in it except for organic milk, salt, and some vegetarian enzymes. So I like to always have these on hand for when I just need a little something. Trader Joe's Kaibata baguettes are excellent to have on hand in your freezer for those nights when you don't wanna make homemade bread. Just pull this out of the freezer, stick it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes, and voila, you've got a nice warm bread to serve with your pasta or soups. And bonus, there's no seed oils in here. I also got some of Trader Joe's little yogurt packs for my kids. I do not eat these because there's a lot of sugar in here. They're probably not the healthiest, but they love them and so I got them. I picked up a bag of pre-grated cheese for my daughter. She likes to make quesadillas. I usually grate my own cheese from a block, but it's nice to just have one of these on hand. My husband is a meat eater, so I picked up a little turkey for his lunches. I bought a bunch of frozen berries at Costco, but I do love the frozen blueberries and raspberries at Trader Joe's. So I got two blueberries and I believe three raspberries from Trader Joe's also. Two blocks of cream cheese for soup or sauces that uh, I may be making in the next couple months. I sometimes add like a half a block or a block of cream cheese to like a creamy soup base instead of using milk or coconut milk just because it adds so many more calories 
and it actually just kind of kicks it up a notch. So if you have a creamy soup that calls for milk, try adding a little bit of cream cheese. It's really good. My kids like to eat cereal and these are the only ones that they prefer to eat and I'm okay with it. There's no seed oils in here. They are not organic, but from time to time I buy them as a treat for them. This is an item that Taylor found at Trader Joe's. They're honey wheat pretzels. They do not have any seed oils in them. It's hard to find snacks that don't have seed oils, so when we find them, we grab them. And so I picked one up today for when I'm feeling a little snacky with my hummus. I also like these organic brown rice cakes from Trader Joe's. All that's in them is brown rice and sea salt. There's three grams of protein per five pieces. But I like to eat these with my chickpea salad. Another thing that I picked up from Costco was their frozen edamame. I love to just steam these up and squeeze a little bit of lemon, a little bit of salt on there. What a wonderful little snack. 12 grams of protein per serving. Sometimes I eat two servings when I'm feeling like I need a little extra protein. Get yourself some edamame. We have four people in our family and we all drink protein smoothies in the morning. So I always stock up. In fact, we have a little freezer in our garage for our berries just to keep them in. <laughs> but Costco has the best deal. These berries are only $10 a bag. They're all organic. And these, I've probably got about 10 or 12 bags of these. These will last us a couple months. I got strawberries, cherries, the breakfast day break blend bag of blueberries also. I'm planning on doing some juicing in the coming week and weeks, so I bought a big bag of organic carrots for that. This giant bag of organic walnuts from Costco is only $7.99. I love walnuts just to snack on and also to use in baking, and a quarter cup of walnuts has five grams of protein. Yum. I always try to pick one of these up when I go to Costco. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh yes, celery. I think I got two bags of organic celery. Again, I'm planning on juicing this and I always use celery in soups or like stir fries also, so they're great to have on hand. Avocado oil is one of my favorite oils to cook with because it has a high heat point and I like to steer clear of the seed oil, so I typically only eat avocado oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. This is a great buy though at Costco, avocado oil. Almond flour from Costco. I like baking with almond flour just because it has so many more nutrients, six grams of protein per quarter cup. I like to store it in the refrigerator so that it does not go rancid. This tri-pack of cucumbers is such a great deal at Costco. I like to use cucumbers in my salads and I like to juice with them. Sometimes I'll put them in my shake. Sometimes I like to cut them up in little chips and eat them with my cottage cheese or with my hummus also. Always nice to have cucumbers on hand. Being that I just came from the Aloha State, Hawaii, of course I had to get a pineapple and it smells so good. Big box of organic spinach for smoothies and salads. I splurged and got some strawberries today. They are a little on the pricey side, but sometimes it's just worth it, guys. And they look so good. Organic strawberries. Honeydew melon. My family is a lover of fruits. I always like to have a watermelon or a honeydew or a cantaloupe or some sort of melon to have with dinner. Costco's organic Greek yogurt has 18 grams of protein per two thirds cup. I like to sometimes put a quarter cup or half cup of this in my protein smoothies. And I also like to just eat it on its own with a little bit of date syrup and berries and maybe sprinkle a little bit of granola on top. This is such a great snack to have on hand with that high protein content. Avocados for obvious reasons, guacamole, throwing in your smoothie, just eating with a spoon and a little salt and pepper. They're not ripe yet, but once they are, I will definitely be devouring these. I mentioned the organic raspberries from Trader Joe's a bit ago. Here they are. They are so yummy. If you guys have a Trader Joe's, you need to pick up a bag of these the next time you go. 
Boy, does it kick your shake up a notch. I like to sprinkle feta cheese on a bunch of the dishes that I make, including soups and salads, and even on top of something that I just wanna kick it up a little bit with a little extra protein or a little extra calorie. So I've been crumbling that on top of some things. Heavy cream from Trader Joe's. You guys, this is the best, healthiest whipping cream that I've been able to find. Heavy whipping cream, that's right, for my decadent ice cream. Have you guys tried it yet? Two cartons of the pasture-raised organic eggs from Trader Joe's. I'll probably do some hard-boiled eggs and then my son likes to eat an egg over easy a couple times a week. So these should last us a good couple weeks. My daughter likes to have some just grab and go lunches sometimes. We homeschool, so they're on their own for their lunch. They make their own lunches. I don't like buying processed food for them. I usually try to have something in the refrigerator that they could just heat up. But these I'm okay with. There's no seed oil in here. It's made with extra virgin olive oil and pretty clean ingredients. They love these and I'm okay with them eating them. Trader Joe's cottage cheese, 90 calories per half cup and 14 grams of protein. If you guys aren't on the cottage cheese train yet, you need to get on it. I've learned that blending cottage cheese makes it a creamier consistency. I know a bunch of people don't like that, those curdles in the cottage cheese, but if you blend it and then maybe top it with some fresh veggies, you can scoop it with a chip and eat it that way. So good, so good. And I do have a couple recipes in my new stomachless cookbook that incorporates cottage cheese. You should check it out. Alcohol-free vanilla for those baking needs. In addition to Costco and Trader Joe's, I went to Whole Foods and I picked up some collard greens. I'm planning on making some collard green wraps. I have not made collard green wraps since I had my stomach removed. I'm hoping that I will be able to digest these easily, but they are one of my favorites or were one of my favorites. You load them up full of like quinoa and veggies and avocado sprouts, and then you dip it in this most delicious peanut sauce. And I'm really hoping and praying that my body is going to accept these without a stomach. So I'll be making these this week. Stay tuned for if I can handle it or not. I purchased a ripe avocado to put inside of the collard green wraps also since my other ones were not ripe yet. Also from Whole Foods, I got these peeled garlics. Every time I go to Whole Foods, which is not very often, I pick up a couple bags of these. One of the most tedious jobs of garlic, as you all know, is peeling and chopping and these are a lifesaver. They are just organic garlics. There's nothing else in there. No preservatives, nothing. And you can't beat it, $3.99. I use garlic in almost every single recipe. I got a little package of mint that I'm planning to add to my juice blends this week. I really do need to get a mint plant rather than paying for it. I think this was like $2.99 and mint grows like a weed. So perhaps this spring I will put a little mint in a pot, not in my garden because it will take over. I got a couple beets to put in my juices, my smoothies, and I'm also planning now on making my beet power salad. Beets, we love beets. I'm planning on making a cop salad this week. So a box of organic spring mix will do the trick for that. We eat a lot of mushrooms in this house, so I got a big tub of organic baby Bella mushrooms from Costco. We'll be eating these within the week. A big bag of organic Costco. This is not my favorite brand, and you're probably wondering why I didn't buy any from Hawaii and bring it home, but the cost of the Hawaiian coffee is too much for me. <laughs> This was only $11.99 and it will last us a couple months. Majeweled organic dates for baking and just eating and snacking on. Mm, I love dates. I am turning into a lover of cuties, you guys. What a great snack to have on hand. They are sweet and hydrating and no added sugar. It's such a great snack to just throw in your purse to have on hand for when you're needing a little pick-me-up. Organic mangoes. 
take me back to Hawaii. Apples to munch on. I love apples and peanut butter. Organic bell peppers. I'm gonna use these in soups, maybe a stir fry, and I'm also gonna throw them in my collard green wraps. Lemons and limes. I'm gonna go ahead and juice all of these up and put them in ice cube trays and freeze them. So when I need a little lemon or a little lime, I don't have to worry about having a fresh lemon on hand. Organic yellow potatoes for soups and just as a side item with dinner. A little cilantro for guacamole and garnish for dinner. Onion. Most dishes call for onion, so a little red, a little white, and a little green. Organic Fiji apples for juicing. Organic russet potatoes for that night when we're gonna have stuffed potatoes. Oats for oatmeal and for baking. I love this organic argan oil for Trader Joe's. It's the only product that I use to moisturize my face. Organic cherry tomatoes for stir fry and guacamole and whatever, just a snack on. Organic bananas, I buy them, I try to buy them in all the different shades just so that we always have a ripe bunch on hand, but we will most likely go through these in about a week to a week and a half. We eat a lot of bananas in this house. Microgreens for my collard green wraps. I usually make my own sprouts, but since I just got home from the trip, they take about a week to produce. I don't wanna wait that long. I wanna have these collard greens now. So I picked these up from Trader Joe's. Oranges for fresh squeezed orange juice. I got three milks and two almond milks. My son and husband like milk and my daughter likes almond milk. I do not use either of these. I just put water in my smoothie with that quarter cup of hemp seed. So it's, to, it's basically a hemp milk that I'm using. But my kids and husband go through these. So I've stocked up for our garage refrigerator. For artichokes, we'll definitely be steaming these. They were only $1.99 each at Trader Joe's this week, which is a steal of a deal, and we love artichokes. I got about eight cans of the garbanzo beans. I use these a lot for chickpea salad, um, soups, dish, like stir fries. So I always like to have a bunch of these on hand. And so I was out completely, so I needed to stock up. So I got eight cans of these. They're $1.09 each, which is a great deal. And then of course, I stocked up on some date syrup. Date syrup has no added sugar. It's naturally sweetened. I like to use these in my yogurt, like I was talking about earlier. I like to use it in place of sugar in baking recipes. It's just a great natural sweetener if you're trying to avoid added sugar. I'm planning on juicing those uh, fresh oranges for orange juice, but my kids like to have an additional one on hand when we run out, so orange juice. I typically like to make my own homemade salsa, but I've got a lot going on, you guys. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have time to make homemade salsa this week, so I purchased a couple salsas. My kids like to have chips and salsa, and when we eat Mexican food dinners, definitely happy when we have salsa on hand. And there you have it, my ginormous Costco Trader Joe's and Whole Foods haul. Wow, that was a lot of stuff, guys. I spent $600 today, but as you can see, it is stuff that is going to be stocked in my pantry, refrigerator, and freezer over the next couple months. And I probably will only have to go to the grocery store one or two times in there. So great haul, great things. I'm excited to get back cooking in the kitchen and I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please do leave a comment or give me a thumbs up and I'll be sure to do more of these in the future. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching, bye.